All right. Two out of five. Soup sick, let's eat rats. Okay. Let's catch some rats. I just set up five traps. I got two right here. Didn't catch anything. And I'm not gonna show you guys the footage of me setting the traps up because it's not really exciting. And a lot of it is just me getting stuck in the bushes. For bait, I'm using bananas because that's what my friends used before. And I personally like bananas. If you guys are wondering where Soup Sick is, don't worry guys, she's okay. I just got her spayed and took her to the vet for some tests, but she's fine. Little cut right there, but she's okay. I'm taking good care of her. Right Soup Sick? Right Soup Sick? Yeah, totally. what? All right, let's go get some rats, but you have to stay Soup Sick. So the first trap, ah, it's right here. Okay, nothing. Didn't catch anything. So I'm not gonna be leaving these traps out because I'm not gonna be checking them later, so there's no need. So, all right. We have two more traps left. Three so far, nothing. Two more to check. Come be it, I don't know where it is. So it's a little bit difficult to, to film and check traps. Should have brought my GoPro. Ooh, okay. All right, trap right there. I'm stuck in the vines. Ah, we, we got a little guy. Well, I wasn't really expecting to catch a, a, a little one. In my mind, I thought I was gonna catch a big rat, not like a little mouse. But that's okay. I'm stoked. That's good, all right. I caught a rat, or a mouse, I'm not sure. It's kinda cute, but uh, if I cook it, I think soup stick can have it. Can you guys see? Look at it. All right, I'm stoked, I got it. I got one, okay. I have a 25% success rate, which isn't so bad. No, no, no. Okay. All right, so I'm just gonna set it right here with the other guys. Well, with the other cages. I'm not really excited, but now I have to walk through this. And the last one, I I don't quite remember where this one is. Oh, um, I don't know, I'll figure it out. <laughs> okay, I wanna get out of this. Hold on, I'm gonna sneeze. Oh, oh my allergies. Anyways, um, forgot what I was saying. But it was funny, yesterday before I was gonna set these traps, I'm gonna go walk out into the middle of nowhere. And uh, my friend's wife's like, Dustin. I was like, yeah. She's like, what are you doing? It's like, I'm gonna set traps. I couldn't figure out how to get there. She's like helping me. It's a little embarrassed to be honest. Um, but I was able to manage because uh, I wanted I wanna do it myself. I gotta, I gotta learn, that's something I've Okay, I remember this plan. I don't really know what it is, but let me show you. You guys can see this very well. But yesterday, when I was setting the traps, this plant was very friendly to me. It ripped my shirt, and I got a nice little cut. There's something, I don't know if that's edible. If you guys in my comment section, maybe you can tell me if you can eat that thing. I don't know what it is. I don't know, I don't know what this is. But all right, let's catch some rats. Okay, last one. Ooh! <laughs> nice, you guys. But why, joy, oy, that lamb. Look at that guy. I don't know if you guys can see. He's way bigger than the last one. This one has some meat. It looks like a boy rat too. You guys can see that. It looks like a boy. Yes, but why? Ooh, I'm so excited. Look at this guy. Nice and big. Good for a little meal. Stoked. Look at him. All right. Two out of five. I have a 40% success rate. Nah. Soup. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. My allergies, I'm sick right now. I've caught rats before with my friend Bang and Gui. Sometimes you guys ask me in the comment section where's Gui. Um, uh, Gui and I, we've both had conflicting schedules, so I haven't been able to do videos with him. Uh, soon I will. He's on his boat somewhere, and I'm in Ho Chi Minh, and then when he comes back, I go to Hanoi for like eight, nine days for work. No YouTube, you guys, no YouTube. But yeah, so this is the first time catching rats myself, and surprisingly, um, it's kind of easy, not so difficult. And this is a, a decent-sized rat, look at him. 
I'm stoked right now. I'm really excited. Catching rats is a lot easier than I thought. So these traps work quite well. I'm just I'm really happy. I'm proud of myself. I'm really happy. Freaking ants. Okay, I'm gonna go, you guys. So we got two rats. Sweating so much, now there's ants. Okay. Okay, let's go. You guys, I don't know where I put my traps. I'm gonna set this rat right here. I gotta find the other ones. I'll see you in a second. Okay, I found them. All right. Got my rats. Why? Well, one rat at least. Maybe a mouse. I don't know. It's still edible. There we go. Look at that. Ugh. Ugh. Give me a second. <coughs> Allergies and being sick and catching rats. Fun stuff. Ugh. So if you guys are wondering now, we're gonna cook them. Because I'm hungry. I just cleaned the rats up. The big ones for me, small ones for soup sick. I'm not gonna show you guys how I clean them because YouTube doesn't like that. And before we continue, make sure to help support my channel by liking, commenting, and sharing. It'll encourage me to make more videos. And if you guys really do like the stuff, I can catch more rats in the future. All right, let's cook the rats. You ready, Soup Sick? Soup Sick, let's eat rats. Yes, I'm come, Soup Sick, okay. Let's go eat some rats. And she's gonna be joining me too, right? Kind of matching a little bit. I got my my hat. She has her cone. Different placement, but still kind of matching. Looks pretty good, huh? And I got soup sick with me. She just sit in my lap. So this little one right here is for soup sick. This big one is for me. Let's try it. Here we go. Tail's good. What I really like about rats, or just a lot of small animals, you know, like squirrel, rabbit, you can eat the bones. If you're looking for extra calcium, got the bones right here. Not bad. Soup sick, I know you want some, but give me a second. In the tail, there's not much meat. Oops, it's dripping. A little messy. So, I don't know if it's focusing. The meat, I cooked it for a little bit longer. And I actually froze it overnight, too. Someone was blasting their karaoke last night, so I don't know if I'm gonna get copyright strikes if I film while they're blasting karaoke. But freezing often can kill parasites or worms. So if you're concerned about some things, freezing it's not 100%, but freezing it and then cooking it again, it's a, an extra step that you guys can do in order to prevent getting a parasite or a worm or some sort of food poisoning. All right, you're supposed to have the small one, soup sick. You really don't want it. Are you serious? It's a really nice meat. I don't know why people are so weird about eating rats. If there was more meat on it, then I'd probably prefer to eat rat over chicken. Just the thing is, I just, I need more meat. Like there's not, you know, it's a rat. It's not too big, huh? Ah, my hat. Ah. Ah. Okay. What soup, what? Okay, no, no. Soupsick, you need to eat the rat. There you go. Come on, Soupsick. You gotta take another shower after this. There you go. Okay, we finally passed the dog test. My hands are super dirty. I gotta do a lot of cleaning right now. So I hope you enjoyed the cooking. I was trying to film in a different style. 
If you liked it, let me know in the comment section. I need to figure out how to get better lighting so you can see it a little bit better. But yeah, I'm trying. I need to clean up, wash my hands, and I gotta get ready for the day. I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed eating my rat. If you guys wanna see me catch rats again or a little bit differently, let me know in the comment section. I can try some unique recipes. Today I'm just kinda testing it out, seeing how it is. But I think I can cook it a lot better. This one, uh, just kind of a, a simple way of cooking it, and it was very long. I liked it. I'm gonna keep eating my rat. For you guys, I hope you have a great day. And I'll see you later. Thumb bit. Long. Got it stuck in my teeth right here.